Hello everyone, Matt here from Overland Travellers. We're just camped here uh, on Greg Greg Fire Trail in Kosciuszko National Park. Beautiful little spot. Um, thought we would take the opportunity to run through the new tent, which is a massive upgrade for us, the Camp King Industries rooftop tent. Hi, I'm Matt. And this is Holly. We've been exploring and travelling around Australia in our old Toyotas for the past three years, going to some incredible locations. Subscribe to join our adventures. So I'll just run through everything about the tent uh, so far, initial thoughts on it, and then at the end I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, just the way we're moving um, with the gear that we now have and sort of just moving away from what we originally owned, all that budget stuff, and just going into a bit high quality stuff, or you know, very high quality stuff, as in this case with this tent. So yeah, I'll set it up, it doesn't take very long, and we'll get into it. Uh, it's worth noting that this bracket here can be moved to any side of the tent. So if you've got a wraparound awning, you can access it from either side and the back. We've got it set up for the back now, just because we like uh, getting out of the tent, we don't have to climb over each other. Um, yeah, if you want to get out in the middle of the night. So that's a little feature, you can move that bracket around. All right, so the tent's on gas struts. So it's just got two toggle latches here. Undo that. Straight up. It's obviously cord is for when you're packing it up. And it sucks the canvas in, pretty standard. So I think probably the most unique feature about uh, the Camp King tent is the way the awning is set up and just sort of um, the design of it, I suppose. So I'll set that up. Comes with these super peg poles, really high quality stuff. So that's the setup of the tent done. Obviously the longest part about the setup is just the poles. Really uh, good design, this from regards to just the actual rigidity of it and the way it holds the awning up. It's really far superior to the flexible kind of wire. You see it on a lot of tents like this. This is just, as I said, far more secure. Um, you're gonna hold up in wind like, I'm really moving that around and it's just not going anywhere. And it keeps this nice and tight so you're not gonna have any flapping around at night. So it's really good design there. All right, so that was the setup of the tent. Super quick and easy, I reckon it was about two minutes, if that. Uh, so yeah, setup's an absolute breeze with this tent. So I've got my phone here, I've just got some points uh, written down that I wanna get through about it. Uh, so I'll start running through them. So as I said, it's Camp King Industries uh, rooftop tent, hard shell tent, obviously. Uh, so it's made in Australia, 100% Aussie made. Everything about the tent, canvas, the poles, uh, obviously the tent itself, manufacturing, everything so it's uh, done in Queensland in Brizzy awesome company they're doing doing some really really cool stuff they're doing tub toppers for utes some of the nicest looking ones I've ever seen canopies for utes uh, they're doing heaps of stuff and it's just all top-notch gear so yeah we're really happy that we can have you know such a well-made product but also um, an Aussie made product as well so that's a bit, big plus for us we've actually been sort of looking for a rooftop tent for a long time uh, obviously we had the King's cracky before uh, i'll get more into that later but you know i don't want to call this an upgrade i mean compared to the king's tent this is you know just in a, in a whole whole nother league so yeah i don't even want to really compare them we are doing work with camp king uh, we've been in contact with them we've met the owners they're lovely people we paid for a percentage of the tent we're doing a bit of work for them photos uh, things like that a bit of promotional work at four drive shows uh, so that was a sort of deal. It's obviously, it's a big tent. Uh, it's just shy of 90 kilos. So it's definitely at the heavier uh, range of tents. I mean, you sort of your bush companies, alu cabs, all those kind of tents are in that weight range. So you definitely feel it uh, up on top of your vehicle. What you're getting for that kind of weight is comfort, ease of setup and pack up. You can leave your bedding all in it. Um, it's a full double bed up top, which also makes it really good just for getting bedding and everything. You can just get standard double-sized sheets. Uh, I'll run through sort of what we've done with the bedding up top 
and uh, you know the mattress topper and all that when, when I get up top and show you inside. Also, I mean, I think it's 174 centimeters tall at the tallest point inside. So Holly, for example, can stand up and get changed and yeah, just got heaps of room up there. If we've got this kind of tent on the car, I want to be able to leave the bedding in it, which you can with this one. Uh, obviously pillows and everything. I know there's some on the market that are the super thin ones and you've got to take your bedding out. And I just sort of think, I don't know. For me, owning one of these tents is all about just the convenience of leaving it all up there and not having any car, not having to set up, pack up. So yeah, big plus for us. Okay, so running through uh, one of the biggest questions about the tent after just sort of watching other reviews on the tent in you know, YouTube and all that kind of stuff in the comments, it was uh, the price of the tent, how much does it cost? So this tent is just shy of seven grand. So yes, very expensive tent. Uh, the owners themselves, the owners of Camp King will tell you that yes, they are very, very well aware that it's an expensive tent, but they call it, it's, it's a luxury tent. Um, you're getting the best of the best materials. You're getting Aussie manufacturing. Uh, you're getting that after sales support uh, that they will provide. Um, obviously it's not an overseas company, so if you need any parts or anything, not that anything really ever goes wrong with them, they'll, they'll do it for you really quick. This tent is for people who are looking for the absolute highest quality, best of the best, no compromise, comfort, convenience. In the comments and people that saw the price just said, oh, it's eye-watering, they've got to get the price down, but they're selling this tent for this price because that's what it's worth. As I said, I think as this, this tent is for people who want the best of the best and you know, price isn't an issue. Um, and for us, we're living a decent percentage of our year in the tent. So it made sense for us to go for the best of the best. So yeah, I mean, that's the main reason we chose this tent. Um, I'm not gonna say that this is an unbiased sort of review or rundown of the tent. I'll say it is biased. I, I do have a bias to all the products that um, you know, the companies that I've been working with, because um, at this stage we, we do a lot of research and um, quite often we approach companies or we sort of want to work with people we want to work with. So if someone ever asks me, hey, what rooftop tent should I get? I mean, I, one, I don't really have anything else to compare this to. I mean, you know, I'm not going to tell them to get another tent if they've never used it. That's one reason. But also, like, I've met the owners and they're just lovely people. They're, they're just super passionate about what they do. And we met the employees, the people making this tent. So that's a, that's a big part of, I don't know, sort of why we like the tent. It's, you know, you meet the people behind it. It all comes together and it all sort of uh, contributes to why we would recommend this tent, despite it just being a really, really good product. In regards to the design of this tent, let's just say there's, there's a few companies that have actually uh, ripped off this tent to a certain degree and then there's other companies that have ripped off this tent pretty much carbon copies. I'm not going to name names, people can figure it out if they really want to. I mean it's a credit to the tent and the design. Uh, if other companies are doing really really good stuff are copying it then obviously they're doing something right. Uh, they've been making these things for I think four years now or nearly four years uh, and as I said they've, they've made I think 450 or, of them or so um, and they've just had rave reviews uh, throughout their whole sort of lifespan of the tent. So I think that's just yeah, another interesting point <laughs> is that yeah, I suppose if, you're, if you're, your product is being copied then you're doing something right. Okay, so another thing I did is I, you know, so I, I jumped on YouTube and I just looked at questions. I've already answered um, the price and the fact that it is an expensive tent. So one of the most common questions uh, we saw uh, as I was running through the comments was um, people were wondering whether if the canvas it was raining, the canvas got wet, if you fold it up and it would wet the bedding on the inside, it's obviously not the case. Um, if the canvas has been seasoned properly, that's a, a big point to make. Um, when you get these tents, you have to season it, just like all good canvas products, you have to do that. But if it's done properly, then yes, no water will get in, so you can fold the tent up and it will not wet your bedding. That being said, if the tent is wet and you fold it up, then you're gonna wanna have to you know, dry it out, otherwise you're gonna get mold on the canvas just like any other tent or product out there. Well, we've slept in it in quite heavy rain when we were in Brizzy, and uh, yeah, it was totally fine for us inside. So yeah, that answers that. Someone on YouTube asked if you can sleep in it. So that was just sort of, I've addressed sort of the main questions, um, whether you can leave your bedding in it, um, and just the cost, that was probably one of the biggest questions about it. All right, we'll, we'll jump up and I'll show you inside the tent and sort of how we've got it set up. All right, so we are up in the tent now. As you can see, heaps of room. I'm not a small person, I'm 6'2", 
and I find it's heaps of room up here for both of us. So we've got two massive side windows here. We've got the fly mesh up on one of them and you can actually have the fly mesh down. As I said, you can access the tent from either side. It's your choice, however you want to set it up. It's convenient for your vehicle. Really good for airflow. Uh, it's, yeah, obviously very airy, light tent. It's really nice. Um, obviously, you've got a canvas flap uh, for privacy and just if it's raining, uh, that can go up, that can zip up and you can just have it slightly down, which is what we usually have um, of a night. All right, so, as standard, the tent is insulated. Uh, it comes with a, I think, a seven and a half centimeter mattress, uh, which is, as I said, the size of a, of a double bed. Um, so heaps of room. Um, also, you get canvas pockets uh, at the back here, either side, and then at the ends there, you've got canvas pockets. And it's actually like seven foot from one end to the other on the inside. So there's a big sort of gap uh, at the back there where we put our shoes, clothes, um, anything like that. So there's, there's heaps of room in here. A few added extras that we got for this tent were a little light up top, and we've just got the remote control for that here. So that's really nice. Don't have to get up out of bed of a night to turn it off, which is good. And another added option we've got is the 12 volt outlets here. So that just comes with two USB ports and a cigarette um, socket. So really nice little option, charge your phones. Uh, one thing that we have up here, which is very, very nice, has been nice up here in the Alpine country in autumn, uh, is a 12 volt heated blanket that we got from Audi and it's unreal. You just plug it in and you can heat the tent, you know, heat your bedding up before you even get in. So that's really nice. I definitely recommend those. Uh, another thing that we actually got, we found the seven and a half centimeter mattress. I mean, it was all right, but if you're sleeping in it, you know, night after night after night, and we do a fair bit of traveling, we want that extra bit of comfort. So we actually got an Akosa bed topper. So I don't know if you know Akosa, uh, you know, they just do the bed in a box um, sort of thing, but they do bed toppers. It's like a gel um, topper. So obviously they do normal bed sizes, so double bed. Um, usually it's for your bed at home, but it was fantastic on here. They're only five centimeters thick, so I reckon they're just perfect for rooftop tents, maybe even swags, just gave us that extra bit of comfort. So, I mean, we've got sort of what, 12 and a half centimeters of foam now and sort of a nice thick bit of gel sort of layer as well. So we find it's really comfortable. Um, we've got all our bedding up here, doona, sheets and heated blankets so yeah it's very very cozy it's really nice it's got all these little clips here so you could probably clip on um, your own accessories little netting if you want but uh, cam king doo doo um, canvas sort of pockets that's all optional extras if you want them we actually found that it was really nice in the rain we could keep this back door here we could either keep it right open like we have it now or we could unzip um, just the canvas, just how it's fly mesh. So we've got plenty of breeze coming through. But the great thing is with this awning out the front, when it is raining, you can have this open and it's raining and it just, obviously nothing comes in the tent and it's just really nice just for, for airflow. Another question people are actually asking is they really want to know how it goes on a windy day. Look, with the gas struts and just the design of these tents, it's constantly, when it's open, the gas struts are constantly pushing the tent up. So the canvas is really nice and taut, it's tight. And uh, same with the awning out front. I mean, that sort of cross pole system they've got going is fantastic, uh, really rigid. So in windy conditions, you're not gonna have canvas flapping around. So another optional extra uh, for the tent is the rail mounting system up top. Just good for your small lightweight stuff like solar panels. We've got a 180 watt red arc solar panel up there now, but surfboards, that kind of thing, it's just really handy for that. I didn't mention dimensions. Look, I don't know the dimensions off by heart. If you want to know them, just jump on the website and have a look. The information's there. Another note about the tent I just want to talk about quickly is I, we just think it's a really nice looking product. It's a really, you know, really, I know it's a good looking tent. Um, fit and finish is incredible. The laser cut um, accents on it and everything, just really nice. It's a plus for us anyway, just having a nice looking tent. Next aspect I sort of want to talk about, sort of this tent, but just our direction with gear in general just the, the direction we're moving and because we're doing this more now and it's becoming a full-time thing. I wanted to talk about, I don't know, the sustainability of products compared to what we are using before. So obviously in regards to budget gear. Um, when we traveled around Australia originally, we had heaps of King stuff in the car, uh, on the ute. And look, I do not have a problem with people uh, using and owning budget gear. 
don't have a problem with it at all. That's fine. I mean, we did it, got us around the country. What I do have a bit of a problem with is companies' approach to warranty, repairing things, I suppose planned obsolescence, things having a shelf life. And I'm not gonna go on like I'm, you know, some clean, green, eco warrior, um, cause I'm not. But I suppose as I'm getting older uh, and I'm thinking about the future a bit more, when I have kids and their kids, I'm, I'm just sort of, I'm becoming more aware of it and sort of things I can do. So I'll tell you a little story about our, our King's tent that we had. You probably all know, uh, the first one we got uh, cracked all at the corners, M major common issue they all had. Cracked at the corners and we got a warranty replacement in Perth. We got that warranty replacement, used it for another couple of months, started cracking at the corners. That time around, I just said, look, I just want my money back and we're just gonna get a new tent. So this is going on for a while, put the warranty claim in, and then it was months and months and months just trying to sort it out. We were thinking about dropping it off to a King Super Center, uh, but then we couldn't do that. So we were gonna organize for a courier to pick it up. This is at Holly's farm. Couriers didn't wanna come out to the farm and pick it up. So we're sort of stuck with this tent. I said, well, all right, what are we gonna do with it? And King said, all right, go to the tip, throw it out, take a photo of it, at the tip and we'll refund you the money. And I just thought, that's crazy. Like, well, one, it's gonna cost us money to tip. Uh, so I said, no, I'm not gonna take it at the tip. You know, that's just this matter. But I just thought, instead of trying to repair it or I don't know, just some other solutions, it's just gonna go straight to landfill and they want to prove of it just to get the money back. Anyway, so we ended up just giving it to Holly's dad and he's gonna fix it up, uh, which I'd prefer anyway. But it's just an odd stance on gear. Also, as I said, for us traveling around and doing as much traveling as we're doing, we just, we just need better gear. And we just need that peace of mind. We've got a lot to worry about and gear is not something I want to have to, you know, constantly worry about breaking or fixing, you know. So by the end of that tent, uh, the end of its life, you know, well, it wasn't mozzie proof for one. Mozzies would get in, we would spray DEET on the holes, you know, we'd <laughs> be getting up into the tent and you're just breathing in deep for the first, you know, 20 minutes, you know. And my joke is we didn't wake up for another two days. They had cracks, the cracks were really bad and I was putting sticky tape up there to stop like gorilla tape, to stop water coming in when it was raining, like crazy stuff like that. I mean, another, you know, a few problems we had with other gear, you know, like awning, really cheap King's awning, probably six months into the trip, the, the Velcro, because we were using it, you know, every day, you know, ripping it on and off, on and off. The Velcro just wore out because it was cheap Velcro. And then if we had the awning set up at night and it got a bit windy, the canvas would flap up and down and then it would slowly rip the Velcro off. And once the Velcro ripped off, that canvas is just flapping around and, you know, of course it'd be windy at three in the morning, you know, when you're trying to sleep and there's nothing like snapping canvas to keep you awake. And we've never regretted spending the money on good gear. Not every product's perfect. And even if you do spend the money, sometimes that, that might have a faulty product, but, We've never regretted spending the money on gear and it's just, it's just so nice having a tent like this. It's just so comfortable, so convenient. Yeah, it's just one less thing to worry about and it's a forever tent. I mean, yeah, it's an expensive tent, but we're gonna have this forever. You know, that's the kind of build quality and that's the kind of level that Camp King are going for. That's where, that's where the money is in it. That's, that's why it costs so much. Yeah, that was a bit of the rundown of the tent. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't really go too much into sort of the nitty gritty of the tent. I just don't have to. It is. It's just a really good product and the people who've developed it uh, at Cam King, they've used it, uh, they've, they've ironed out any tiny issues they've had over the years. So it, like, the people that are gonna be buying this tent, they, you know, as I said, when they, when they go to the shop, they're 95% they're of the way there. They've done the research and these keep popping up as sort of the best of the best. We're, we're just super happy with it at the moment. If you have been thinking about getting that Ultra premium forever tent, 100% I'd recommend Cam King. Uh, I, I honestly can't really fault the tent. I can't fault it at this stage. I mean, we haven't had it for very long, but I just know it's gonna last. Like people have taken these things all over the world. Um, they're all through the States and they've just, just had no issues or the, or the issues I've had have been negligible. If you actually are watching this video and you own one of these tents, we'd love to hear about your experience with it down in the comments below. Uh, just a, more people with a bit of real world use of them, um, just for other people to read. So yeah, if you own one, comment below. We will be releasing a vlog for this area. If you wanna see us using the tent and just uh, a bit of the local area, our local area, check it out. 
Uh, but thanks for watching and any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but until next one, cheers.